This is in continuation with the previous video where we discussed about different life stages of Hurricane Valley. Um, um, one of the questions I was asked was about death of Hurricane Valley and how it demolished finally on 11th of October. Um, and the reason I mentioned was eye wall replacement or secondary eye wall replacement. Now, what is it and how does it happen? First thing I want to tell you is what it is. Uh, secondary, why it, is it so? We are not sure. It's an uh, area of research and we still don't understand the dynamics very well. So let's start with what is hurricane eye and what does it mean to have secondary eye in a hurricane and how it happens? What are the theories which exist so far? So um, hurricane eye is region of low pressure and pressure inside this region um, is lower than the uh, is 15 percent less than the pressure in the outer region now uh, okay let me explain you like that when we see hurricane a hurricane from uh, a satellite using ir imagery using infrared imagery uh, we can see it as cross section and we can see hurricane as uh, in form of cloud, spiraling clouds. So the center of the hurricane is called Hurricane Eye, which is a region of low pressure and high winds. Um, and it is a calm region where pressure is less than, it's about, on, it's about 15% less than pressure outside in the hurricane area, in hurricane spiraling bands or thunderstorms. Uh, this is about a little bit introduction about Hurricane Eye. In one of the video, I will be glad to discuss how Hurricane Eye form, how it originates. Uh, so in continuation with this thing, uh, Hurricane uh, sometimes form secondary eye. So we have our central portion of low pressure and high winds. Around that, we get a spiraling band of thunderstorm or clouds just outside this major eye and sometimes the outer region of the thunderstorms take over the inner one. The inner one start compressing and the outer spiraling band take over the inner eye. This is called replacement of primary eye or secondary eye wall replacement. Now why does it happen? That's a very intriguing question indeed uh, and there are three main uh, theories to describe that. First theory states that it is because of turbulence. Uh, the theory the eye of the hurricane, which is actually, if we see vertically, it is nothing but thunderstorm, a region of thunderstorm vertically very high, which could um, which could be up to stratosphere or a little below stratospheric layer. And uh, turbulence of air, the air which is going from uh, from the sea or from the ground or from the base of the hurricane when it when it goes up it break the thunder cloud it break the eye wall into two the inner one start to collapse and the outer one start to take over the inner one so reason of the replacement is thought to be turbulence now second theory that this is because uh, the secondary eye wall which exists outside the uh, primary eye of the hurricane it take over the inner eye of the hurricane because of asymmetry in its formation when the inner core become asymmetric when it's not rotating in almost circular fashion it begin to uh, unstabilize and the outer eye wall or the thunder cloud outside the major eye began to take over okay so there are these two main theories are very prominent and this area is still region of intense research one of uh, one interesting fact about hurricanes secondary eye formation is that secondary eye form in hurricanes or in tropical cyclones which has pressure create less than 950 hectopascal and wind and wind speeds should be 
greater than at least 45 kilometers per hour and the time frame the time window of formation of the secondary eye wall outside the inner one is about 48 hours after that it generally doesn't form so there is a time window and there is a criterion for secondary eye wall formation so using these two boundary conditions we can estimate what could be the causes so i will get to that in my next video so take care my friends and see you in next video bye